What's up people, it's your boy Perfection, back with part 2. Okay, so where was I going with this? Right, so black women's role is extremely important. Extremely important. Because if we're talking about black on black businesses, then, you know, there's a male and there's a female. Okay? You can't, you can't, have, you can't have these things running without, well, without a black woman. Because that's, you know, partners. You're, somewhere along the lines, you're going to have a big role in it. Um, this whole kind of pimp mentality where, you know, you've got a certain... That where you're giving yourself to a man that doesn't care about you. And then that, that same man is using you to, use other, to hurt other people in your community. is the opposite of building a business. It's actually destroying it, if anything. That kind of mentality is destroying it. Um, I don't know where it starts. I th again, the only thing I can assume, again, would be from a broken family, from a, a mother that's doing it all by herself. Now, I'm not going to go into all of that because I already did explain that. I explained that in my um, Lost in Limbo video, um, Why the Family's Broken, and I've also explained it in my George Floyd video. So I'm not going to go into that again. Um, what I will say, though, is that black women need to wisen up to these things one thing I missed out on in the previous video when I was going back to family because remember I was saying that in order for us to, to, to have these businesses where we're supporting each other we need to support each other in the home one one thing that I missed out on is education because without the education we're not going to be having these businesses to begin with so that's another thing that you know on top of loving our children teaching them respect pride strength morals integrity intelligence um, and all those kind of things we also need to make sure that they learn in schools one way or another they need to learn we need to support them and make sure that they are um, not so much top of their class but they're definitely coming out of their classes of skills skills that they can take into the real world so education is probably this is I wouldn't say it's the first thing that's on the list but it's as important as, as, as anything because we're not going to have these businesses if our children aren't educated. Now we can move on to the subject of the black woman. Fast forward again back to the black woman. Her role is extremely important because if, if, if our children are growing up and seeing mum always looking out for, for thugs, for sellouts and bums, okay, then how the hell is that child then going to go out there and support someone that's trying to do things the honest way support someone that's good and trying to uplift their community how the hell is that child then going to say oh mum does that home mum doesn't do that mum's supporting bums mum's supporting the same people that are probably kicked her under the bus god knows how many times okay mum's taking from a good person um, and when mum's pretending to be poor or you know has no money in her pocket and when a good person comes along and helps her she then gives that same money to some bum some of that kind of pimp broken pimp mentality that she's got black women play a huge role in this they need to stop doing it stop supporting bums i was shocked when my mum turned around and said to me look and i'm not like that look and it's not the first time it happened as well another friend of mine knocked on the door because i was letting in my house sometimes and what he did is he knocked on the door one time and um, I think my mum said, oh, a friend of yours came for you the other day. I said, who? She said his name was, um, I'm not going to his name. She would say his name was um, um, Andrew. Andrew came around the other day. Okay. And then she said to me, yeah. Um, and he asked me for cigarettes. And I was like, what? And she said to me, yeah, he knocked on the door and he asked for cigarettes. When I heard that, I rang up Andrew. I said, Andrew, mate, you came around my house and you asked my mum for cigarettes. He's like, yeah, my boy, I needed a cigarette, innit? I said, listen, listen, no, 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 no. Don't knock on my door for cigarettes. Okay, go and ask your friends or this or that. My house ain't them kind of thing. Because um, I know it's hard. You know what it is? I think some people are so, so into being the good guy, the nice guy. But that's fake anyway. That they don't know how to say no sometimes, you know. But that's fake anyway, because all that does is like counting straws. It just builds up and it builds up and it builds up. And the problem with these, um, a lot of these black women as well, is that 
you'll take this abuse from from these bums in order to to make yourself look like a good person among them and this or that and then you'll direct that once once you start getting angry because they're taking liberties of you and you know you think what the hell that's the, the tenth time you knocked to my door for a cigarette that's the twenty time you knocked to my door for food and he's never ever brought me something round to show his appreciation you then direct all of that energy and hatred on good guys I've seen it again you direct it on good guys so this whole you trying to look nice and you trying to be a positive person and, and you know and and feed the community and this and that that's not entirely true because you're, you're feeding the wrong people if that's the case you should be feeding the people that are feeding you okay once you have that mentality and that mentality is passed down onto your children in the correct way instead of the whole pimp mentality pimp game way then your children go out there and they start doing the same things they start to realize when they've got certain friends that may be trying to take them for granted okay um, because if I had a child now and I brought a child into the world my daughter or son um, will learn that you know as much as we need to protect each other son or daughter there are certain black people that are bums 100% bums okay there's a certain guy in America I won't use his name but he said that um, and he is and he is pro-black this dude is pro-black that's the most amazing thing but he's like I'm not concerned with 99% of black people I'm not concerned of them I'm only concerned with the 1% the rest of them and he used, he used the term n-word their ends and I don't have time for them they're the same ones that get us killed they're ignorant um, walking around with their pants sagging and all of that he was saying listening to rap music smoking weed he has his and he was quite an interesting guy until he came up with a few negative things which i didn't like which i found where he was trying to kind of divide and conquer our people but he had some very interesting things to say how i look at it is if i had my own son or daughter i would turn around and say to him look unfortunately there's a lot of black people out there that aren't worth knowing you know and those people you've got to push to the side unfortunately you have to push them to the side um what did i say in one of my previous videos Good people aren't made, they're found. So give give you know give a few give someone, you know, we all deserve a second chance. Um give someone a second chance once they may mess up the second time, especially in regards to money. It's one thing is a friend, but in regards to a business. Which leads me to my second thing that I'm about to say. Um Right. Okay, alright, okay. Uh, let's put uh, in game competition, right? Input advice for free. Right, so what I was going to say is that it's funny. I think in my life, like, I, for example, I'm a personal trainer, and what I've come to learn is that um, black people don't respect, we don't respect each other. We don't respect each other. Um, I've found that as a personal trainer, when I'm out there trying to, to you know, to recruit clients, so I can train them. Um, black people, for some reason, um, aren't interested, or they don't wanna, they don't wanna give me the support. They don't wanna give me the support, um, and I believe that that's a subconscious thing because, um, if I was white, or if I was any other color, they most likely would. I remember one of my aunties saying that if she she was in the bed waiting for an operation and the black doctor came along and she was disgusted she was like you know I don't want that black doctor giving me uh, um, doing my procedure now I can't go as far as to say that um, I don't I don't look down on my people that way I think that auntie to be honest with you was a bit of a coon if you want to be honest with you she'd rather have a white doctor operating her than a black doctor um, I don't know about that um, what I do know is that um, me as someone offering someone uh, um, a service offering my own black people a service they want to undermine me they want to kind of disrespect me um, they want to pay me half of what they would pay um, somebody else okay um, and if I'm trying to sell them something they'll ignore what I'm offering but yet one day they may knock on my door with a, a power bank that I, you know, and I'll say, wait a minute here, what's that? And they'll say, it's a power, I'll say, wait a minute, it looks like a power bank. And they'll say, yeah, it is. And I'll say, but how much did you pay for this? I paid a uh, hundred pound. 
So what about when, the one I was trying to save for fifty pound, man? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You, you're the one that gave me the idea, isn't it? You're the one that gave me the idea, isn't it? And what it is, I went out there and this guy said to me, "Listen, yeah." And I think about what he was saying. If you think about what he's saying, why didn't you buy it off me? Why did you go and buy it off, off, off James, who was white? Why would you do that? And I know you. I've known you for the last twenty something years. Okay. Um, which brings me to my next thing. Before I'm going to come back to this anyway. Which brings me to my next thing. Um, another thing. Um, another thing is that among us black people is that it seems as though people don't want to kind of. Um, they're all for themselves so another thing I've noticed among black people is that I'll help your business but you won't help my business I'll come around your house and I'll knock on the door and I'll be knocking on your door Monday to Friday ringing you up three times a day for you to try and help me and you know three months later or a year later when I'm starting my business and I'm trying to ring you up you're nowhere to be found you're not answering my phone calls when I'm asking you yeah you want to invest in this well, well boy you know what you know what yeah uh, money's a bit tight now you know what I'm saying yeah I know uh, money's a bit tight I know, I know you kind of helped me out before but all of a sudden now they don't want to kind of do for them as you're doing and again this is what I'm saying about bums as well that you've got to be able to spot these bums very quickly and kind of push them up your life um as mental ex uh, well his has mental ex said you know he's only looking for the one percent i would say about five out of ten black people just aren't worth knowing but you'll find that there's a lot of black people where it's strictly take okay as one jamaican guy said what is it they go to sleep with they go to sleep with gimme 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 and they wake up with, um, I want more, something like that. Some sort of some sort of thing that some Jamaican guy said. So basically, he was saying that, you know, um, when he went over to Jamaica, there was a lot of people that, um, throughout the whole day, they asked, they 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 one minute they 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 asking for things. They're saying, you know, give me, give me, give me. And then when they wake up in the morning, the first thing they say again is something towards the same lines as that. You know, I want more, I want more, I want more. It's like that's that's all you ever hear from them, but you don't ever get anything back in return okay not to say that i'm disregarding jamaica jamaican's a poor country um they think england's paid with gold so when you go over there they're strictly you know begging for money especially if it's family and things like that but getting back to this is that there's certain black people out there where they're strictly for themselves you know they'll they'll ask you to support their business but yet they don't want to help you out they're bums it's as simple as that getting back to what i was saying about um when i trying to sell people something um they'll rather go with white people or indian people or asian people this or that it's also that on the flip side as well there's been times where um when i've gone out there and i've paid black people for a service they haven't put a hundred percent effort into the service um don't get me wrong there have been times where um they've come around my house and they've done me a favor and i've reached into my pocket and i haven't paid them what i would pay a professional but then they haven't done a professional job so that's understandable you know um they've, they've they're supposed to have painted my room they've come around and they've said oh your room needs painting and they've painted my room um they've come around with a couple of you know um, paint brushes and and um and uh paint pots or whatever and they painted my room they haven't done a professional job um but you know they're not professional they're just trying someone trying to help me out so i haven't paid them professionally that's understandable but i've also come across a lot of black people as well where when you do try to support their business um they don't respect you they'll take your money and they'll run away from it with it and again it's this kind of fuck mentality when you're trying to chase them down like boy i said i'll be there friday to do the job in it yeah if don't keep ringing off my phone yeah and all of that kind of thing and um it's us letting the side down because it seems as though when you're reaching out to black people from my perspective anyway um 
they don't want to support you like they would support other races and then when you're trying to support them they, they don't want to respect you again by doing the job, fulfilling the job properly. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to see around from number three, and that will be the last part. And that's just to clarify everything that I've been saying, um, ways that we can get this black business up and running, and ways that we can be kind of, you know, we can look deep inside ourselves and say, um, how am I going to make that difference to make, um, to uplift our people, basically? How, what, how is it going to start with me? What can I do, Luke, as me as an individual? Right, see you around for part three. Peace.